Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around a Load Trail DT07 dump trailer. Shown here is a 5x10 model. So it's 5 foot wide, 10 foot long. Pretty much everything you see here is stock equipment. Uh, nothing optional other than I see up front a blue cold weather rated wiring harness. So again, everything you see here is going to be stock equipment. Take a look out front and work our way to the back of the trailer. So the standard's gonna be a cast adjustable coupler. Notice it's got a spot to put your chains. It's got your breakaway battery. Now this is the only thing I see that's optional. This is something that's been out in the market for a little while. Um, basically the blue harness would signify that it's a cold weather rated harness. And then it's got a seven pin plug. So most all current trucks are gonna have a seven pin blade plug as seen here. So that's with all load trails. This is gonna have a 110 volt charger standard. So you plug that into house current, keep your battery maintained. Trailer comes with a 232 warranty. So they cover the whole trailer two years, structural three years, and then two year roadside assistance. And it's got the 800 number for roadside assistance on the uh, sticker. So it's got a paddle lock so you can lock your toolbox. It's got the keys in the back side. It's got a 20 foot all weather remote cord so that you can take the uh, fob all the way up to your vehicle. So this is a power up, power down hydraulic as evidenced by the two coils on the solenoid. And then it's got the integrated circuit breaker for the power unit so there's no fuses to worry about. It's got an interstate deep cycle marine battery. This is a high capacity group 24 battery. There would be the inside of your 110 volt charger. It's got built-in indicator lighting. One other thing about Load Trail, they put a gas shock on the toolbox and that would prevent the toolbox from over opening and getting damaged. Little detail a lot of manufacturers don't put on. So this has the 7K drop leg jack standard, gives you serviceability of the jack. And if you're not familiar with the drop leg, it's got a pin that would allow you to extend out the foot and uh, just gives a lot of flexibility when jacking, no need for uh, for a wood block or similar here. So this unit is equipped standard with a tarp kit. Not only does it have the tarp kit and the shroud, but it's also got a sail bar. Sail bar is nice. Uh, most don't seem to have a sail bar on them, but that makes it nice for deployment of the tarp. You would simply put it in the bracket at the back, stretch it tight, and you're ready to roll. Now they do also give you J hooks going down the side that you can hook a bungee to a grommet. But speaking of the sides, Load Trail does an integrated body stiffener built into the side of the trailer. Now that stiffens up the side of the trailer considerable. And note that that is formed into the side, not welded on. So there's no acid rain and salt getting behind there to rust it out over time. Uh, being formed in makes it a lot stronger keeps it looking nice going down the road. So these are double broke fenders, They're not your traditional smooth. So these are double broke tread plate. The extra bends in the steel make it stronger, just like the integrated body stiffener. And then it's got the gusseted return going back to the bed frame. Gives you a nice spot to mount your sealed beam LED lights. This is Dexter axles. It's got the new never adjusting brakes, which uh, simply mean you wouldn't have to adjust the brakes during the life of the trailer. And it's also got the gladiator tires. Gladiator tires are mounted on black mod wheels. It's got ramps, comes standard with this particular unit. Sides on this are 18 inches high, as would be pretty well the standard in the industry for a five wide dump. What's not standard would be the 10 gauge floor and sides. And besides the 10 gauge floor and side, which is generally heavier than most in the industry, uh, often you might see 10, 11, 12 gauge floor, and then uh, anywhere from a 12 to 14 gauge side would be fairly common. They go from the top of the wall to the center of the floor with a two piece bed. Uh, so what they've done here is create a parallel seam. Our experience from lots of trade-ins over the years are the parallel seams tend to hold up better than the perpendicular seams going across the width of the trailer. So between the thicker floor and sides, and the two-piece bed and the parallel seam. These guys have a nice bed style. Now, one other feature benefit there would be with the single-piece seam that's full seam welded, we prefer that as opposed to a stitch or spot or even a full seam corner weld. Reason for that, things seem to lay in that corner 
and over time they're going to rust the corner out and it's going to eat up the side we've seen that on quite a few traded in trailers that hauled mulch or uh, manure or similar items where things lay in the corner and eat out that sidewall over periods of time this trailer on the sidewall does also have stake pockets built in so if you want to build the sides up you can do that our general rule of thumb would be to not build the sides much more than the sidewall height so with an 18 inch side we would recommend perhaps an 18 inch extension if needed now there are manufacturer supplied steel extensions uh, if you would be looking for a more professional option certainly we have customers that use wood as well so the way the trailer's built not only can you extend up the sides but also the rear gate you'd simply remove the caps speaking of the gate this is a three-way gate which would generally be unusual on a trailer this small so the three ways would simply be to pull the pin lay the gate down like a pickup truck style gate and you would simply have to set the depth of how far you wanted it to lay down then you can also spread the uh, gate like a dump truck leave the pin up top pull the handle at the bottom set the depth and it'll open up like a dump truck and then the most common way uh, we tend to find that the average customer is going to use this trailer would be to open up the barn door and take it around now again this does have the three functionalities and also the gate on this is built a good bit heavier than what we generally see in the uh, marketplace it's got this keyway uh, built into the rear gate so the few manufacturers that do do the keyway generally do it on the long sill on this one they actually do it on the rear gate as well as the front and then in addition to that they take the time to miter the corners so there's a lot of detail and craftsmanship uh, heavy duty features built into this particular unit d-rings are also uh, built into the bed in the four corners and then again we've got the standard ramp now they're going to hook onto the back here and you can load up uh, different equipment and sealed beam LEDs are standard. It's got the Dexter brand axles and the 232 warranty. They do a Sherwin Williams powder coat on this particular unit. Let me show you the underside because there's a lot more features to this load trail that make it uh, certainly our heaviest duty dump that we stock. One of those features is going to be the 6 inch 12 foot pound I beam main frame. Now you notice that's a unibody frame that runs front to back on the trailer most on something like this are going to use maybe a four inch five foot pound channel uh, this certainly is a very heavy duty mainframe now this is the same mainframe that is on the dt10 model which is a 10,000 pound uh, load trail dump trailer and on this you also see a 516 scissor hoist this is the same scissor hoist it's actually on the 7 by 14 14,000 pound dump so way more hoist than what you're going to need on a little dump like this uh, in the event somebody would overload it and heaven forbid they ever do that i'm sure that never happens with the average dump trailer but uh, if they did this would certainly get it off hopefully you're on your own property if you do but again this has plenty of hoist uh, with the 516 scissor so this is a, a 7.9 ton rated hoist again that's what's on the 14,000 pounders uh, notice this is also a tubular uh, framed hoist scissor hoist uh, where some are going to be a channel or angle that tube is going to take that torsional load now with the scissor hoist you're going to get a handful of grease zerts there's two of them at the top uh, there's a few at the bottom and then uh, in the middle as well so you notice also that i-beam frame uh, gets a gusset plate underneath and then they also put one in the middle and then they've got it reinforced going perpendicular to the trailer for the scissor so the cross members on this are a three inch channel cross member that's structural not a form steel cross member and then on this they're using a sealed wire harness wire harness runs along the outside it is modular so if you were to damage a section it's replaceable the front we've got the uh, middle section and then we've got one that goes across the back so it is fairly easy to replace and again it's fully sealed so it eliminates uh, most of your human error uh, on something like this now a lot of five wides uh, don't have a bed frame and what I mean by that a lot of times the sidewall 
is going to come down past the floor and form in. And then your cross members would uh, be held in place by that sidewall extended. Certainly not the heaviest way to build a dump trailer or the best way, but it works for most of your lighter duty dumps. Now on this one, they've taken a four inch tube bed frame and put all the three inch channel cross members uh, into that four inch tube. So they terminate to an outer tube bed frame. Makes this a lot stronger and also gives you a nice frame for that scissor hoist uh, to tie into. So I guess it's gonna get about a 45 degree angle. The trailer's gonna weigh in at about 2,200 pounds empty. It's gonna give you a net legal payload of about 4,800 pounds. And then you're gonna transfer your tongue weight to the truck side and that transfer tends to be about 15% or about 1,000 pounds. Something like this, if you were perfect on both axles and had an average tongue weight, you're gonna net about 5,800 pounds of net legal payload. This is available in different sizes. As shown here is the most common 5x10. It's also available in a 6x10, a 6x10 single axle, and a 5x8 single, and a 5x10 single axle. If you have any questions on this or any of your other trailers, feel free to take a look at us on the website, bestchoicetrailers.com, or you can give us a ring at 717-220-4220. Thanks for looking.